Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the concept of global patterns in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to start with a brief introduction to global colors because if you're not familiar with what global colors are, some of the next part of this video are just simply not going to make sense. So I've got my swatches here. You'll see that these two swatches are different. One of them's got a little angle in its bottom corner. That tells you that it's a global swatch. I'm going to change the pink swatch because that's in use down here in these pink elements. When I double click on that and change the color to a different color, click preview, nothing changes in the document because these objects are not colored with global colors. These objects, these aqua objects are colored with a global color. So even if I don't have them selected, if I double click on this color here and make a change to it, click preview, you'll see that the actual objects themselves have changed color because they're colored with a global color. Well, the same thing works with patterns, only they don't have a little marker across their bottom corner because patterns are by definition global. So I have the same pattern in use here inside both shapes, one at 100%, one at 50%. Now, if I edit that pattern, what's going to happen is that the patterns inside these shapes are going to change. So I'm just going to double click on this pattern to open it in the pattern editor. I know that these clouds are inside groups, so let me just click on the cloud with the group selection tool and delete it. And I'm just going to click done. And you'll notice now that the pattern inside these shapes has altered as well. One of the clouds has been removed. That's because these shapes, even though they're not selected, have been filled with a pattern which behaves in a global manner. Make a change to the pattern and every instance of that pattern inside the document is automatically changed. Now, if you don't want that behavior to occur, this is what you're going to do. Double click on the pattern and go and make your change. In this case, I'm removing the second of these clouds. But this time, instead of clicking done, I'm going to click save a copy. And what that does is it saves just the umbrella pattern, but without changing the original pattern that's in use in the document. So I'll just click OK to finish saving that instance of the pattern. And this time I'll click cancel. And you'll see here that these patterns still have just that single cloud in them. They're still filled with this original pattern. And this pattern here is not yet in use. Well, I'm just going to use it inside a shape. I'll make a square and I'll click to use it inside that square. And here it is without any of those clouds. So just be aware that if you're working with patterns and if you edit a pattern that's already in use in your document, you need to be clear as to whether you want to change every instance of that pattern in your document or whether you just want to create a new pattern. I hope this video has been of help to you. I hope that you've learned something about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.